When you're building a new WordPress theme, it's always helpful to include a thumbnail image. A theme's thumbnail image is used to display a tiny screenshot of the theme in the WordPress dashboard so a user can know what they're selecting before they activate it. We're in my WordPress dashboard right now, and as you can see, uh, my new theme that I'm working on, which I'm calling Write Consulting 2.0, doesn't have a thumbnail. Now, this isn't such a big deal for me since I don't intend to share my theme publicly, but it's pretty critical for themes shared on the official WordPress theme repository or premium themes sold on sites like ThemeForest. For the sake of completeness, I'm going to go ahead and create a thumbnail anyway. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Photoshop, but you can use pretty much any software that can export a PNG format image. Now, what you're going to go ahead and do is create an image that is 880 pixels wide by 660 pixels tall. Now, I've actually gone through the trouble of uh, taking the guesswork out of this by creating a uh, template for this. And I'm going to provide a download link under the video. So you can go ahead and access that template via that link. So here's our template. Now, what you do with this template is completely up to you and it really depends on whether or not you're done developing your theme. Um, if you are, you can basically just go to your homepage and take a screenshot. Now, you can see here that I have the 2015 theme active and the content of my website doesn't look right at all in that context, but this is just an example. So we're going to go ahead and take a screenshot by hitting our print screen button on our keyboard and go back to our template and just paste it in. So once you have that pasted in, you can go ahead and use the Edit Transform Scale tool to resize your screenshot so it basically looks right in the context of our screenshot template. There we go, that looks, well, we don't want that bottom bar showing, so we'll expand that just a little bit. There we go, that looks pretty good. Good enough, okay. So once we have it positioned and scaled appropriately, um, then we'll go ahead and save this as the screenshot.png file under our, uh, under our theme folder. Now, I'm not actually done because this is not my screenshot. My theme is still under development. I haven't actually turned it into code yet. So what I'm going to do is go over to my Photoshop mockup file I'm going to go to select all, and I'm going to go to edit, copy merged. And this is going to essentially flatten my Photoshop file and put it on the clipboard. So I'll take that uh, clipboard content and go back to my screenshot template, paste it in, and basically go through the same process of scaling it and positioning it. Getting there. Great. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to export this as screenshot.png, and I'll do that by going to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. And I just want to make sure that I'm in my theme directory. And if I look up here at my path, I am. And I'm just going to make sure that the file name is screenshot. And since I'm exporting as a PNG, it's already going to apply that file extension. So now I'll hit save. It'll create that screenshot.png file, which I can verify by looking in the folder. And finally, if I go into my WordPress dashboards theme view, I should be able to verify that I can see the screenshot. Great, there it is. All right, now I can switch between my themes and know what I'm getting before I click activate or even live preview. All right, well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, I plan on doing a whole bunch of WordPress tutorials as I go through the process of developing this new theme. So I hope you'll check back and go ahead and click subscribe down below and uh, you will get notified when my new tutorials are released. All right, 
Catch you later.